Hi, my name is Ye Hung Chen. I'm with the University of California, San Francisco's Global Health Sciences. In this video, I'll be showing you how to import respondent-driven sampling or RDS data into the software program Respondent-Driven Sampling Analysis Tool, or RDSAT. This video is part of a series on analyzing behavioral surveillance data from surveys that use time location sampling or respondent-driven sampling. Before importing your data into RDSAT, you'll need to have a data set that contains coupon data, survey data, and biological test results if you have them. Your data set should not have any duplicate survey IDs or any duplicate in coupon numbers or in pawns. You should define the seat in pawns as missing, but no other in pawns should be missing. The variable for network size should not have any missing values or values equal to zero. If there are missing network sizes, you should impute the median. If there are network sizes equal to zero, then those values should be set equal to one. The code for missing values should be consistent across all variables. In this example, we coded missing values using a period. You should have recoded any variables you wish to recategorize or any variables dependent on skip patterns. In this example, we'll be loading a comma-separated value file or CSV file of data from a sample of people who inject drugs or PWID. We already have RDSAT open. To import the CSV file, select file, import data file, and then browse for the CSV file. Select it and select open and then select next. This window asks us to indicate the character that separates columns in our data file. In this case, because we use a CSV file, we'll select comma. Now we'll select next. And on this screen, we will specify the coding for missing values. In this example, it's just a period. So we'll type period and select next. And then finally, this screen asks us to verify the total number of respondents. So we'll just select yes because that looks correct and we'll select next. On this screen, we'll select all the variables we want to import into RSAT. In this example, we'll be importing all of the variables by first selecting the top variable, holding down on the shift key and selecting the last variable, and then selecting the right arrow button. And then we select next. On this screen, we indicate which variables correspond to important RDS variables. So for respondent ID, we'll select the ID variable. For network size, we'll select the variable called degree. For coupon received, we'll select the variable called inpon. And for coupons given, we'll select the variables called outpon one through five. And now we'll just select next. And then we'll just save the converted data. So we'll select browse and then Let's just call it PWID converted. Okay, select next. And then we see confirmation that the file was converted and we select okay and we're done. Now that we've converted the data set, we can select edit data to browse. And if you scroll left and right or up and down, you see that all the values appear to be lining up correctly in columns. Let's close that window. And one thing you might want to do now is to check the options. Um, so select Change Options. These are options that RDSAT has saved in by default. Some of the ones to notice are, for example, the number of resamples for bootstrapping. The setting controls the number of bootstrap samples to pull when computing confidence intervals. This setting confidence level alpha indicates the default for the width of your confidence intervals. A setting of 0 0.025 specifies 95% confidence intervals because it puts 2.5% in each tail. Another setting to look at is the last one algorithm type and that's defaulted to enhanced data smoothing which is preferred. That's explained in some of Doug Hackathorn's manuscripts. So we'll just select OK. That concludes our video on importing data into RDSAT. In the next video, we'll be explaining how to obtain univariate estimates from RDS data. Thanks for watching.